Hello, Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial series. Now, for this Friday's tutorial, I thought I'd talk a little bit more about expressions. And that is because of a comment that I got on another video that I did on persona saving. And this comes from Willie33, who says, Very good video. For some time I've been facing a problem. I have many expressions that I have incorporated in my Daz 3D. Many times it happens that I use an expression on a character and then I don't remember which one I used. Other times I make modifications with dials. It takes a lot of time to achieve what I want. But the question is, is there any way to reset them to zero more quickly than just turning off the expressions I used? Sometimes expressions remain on the face and I have not been able to remove them. Please help. So Willie, I do have a solution for you. And this goes back to a video that I've made before. I think this little hack is in one of my other tutorials, but I want to show you again. And what you can do here, make a expression that we like. And I've talked about expressions, how we have to be careful with expressions because a lot of these preset expressions will overdo it if we go to 100%. So we don't want to uh, go to 100%. And I've mentioned that I have a whole bunch of expressions saved from Daz Studio. So like this surprised expression here, we can take with Milica and give her a surprised expression. Or if we dial it back, this is about 30%. That's a lot better. And then let's say I want to make her kind of smile as well. So I make her mouth open and then I kind of give her a smile. Once we are done with that and we've got an expression that we like, we've probably used multiple dials. I know I have. Now there is a way to reset this to zero, but what you're going to end up doing is resetting her entire head, which can be a problem, but it does reset her expressions. And that is just to come up here to your little toggle and go to this person, hit the arrow, and then with her head selected, you're just going to hit restore selected items and pose. So when I do that, see it just takes everything back except her eyes back to the zero. Now you are going to have to move her head back into the position that you liked or that you had it. So you may have to repose a little bit, but for the most part, this little toggle and the reset selected items pose is going to reset your expressions. Now I have noticed from time to time when I have multiple expressions, sometimes this doesn't work and I don't know why. And I guess in that case, if you are under your pose controls and parameters, you're going to have to scroll through, I think, which is what Willie was talking about, scrolling through all of the expressions and zeroing them out. I've had to do that from time to time, but it's kind of a rare circumstance. And I think there's something else going on with the poses that doesn't allow the uh, reset to restore everything back to zero. Maybe it's the, the expressions might be locked or something like that. Okay, Willie, I hope that really helped. I do know I've talked about this before, but I wanted to reiterate it because I am well over 200 videos now, and I know a lot of you haven't gone through each one. So kind of reiterating some of the techniques that I've done in the past is good for these future videos. So I hope this really helped you. Let me know if there's another way to restore or reset poses and I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. So we're gonna go ahead and just kinda give Milica a render here and call it a day. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give me some comments, and of course, happy rendering. <laughs>